discover and you told us, no, Sunstown is a place of really for, for the mission, no? Mm -hmm. Even though it's the, we can say, one of the oldest settlements of the Catholic mission mm -hmm. in Liberia. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there is my father uh, when in, in the year 1906 went mm -hmm. to Liberia. Yeah. They tried to establish first in Keku, but they couldn't. They have a lot of opposition, so from there they moved to Grand Cru. Yeah. And the first settlement they established was uh, Sunstown and then Betu, and from there on the whole Catholic Church spread to the whole country, no? Oh, yeah. But still, Sunstown is a, is a place for, you can say, primary evangelization. Yes. And and it's a really a place for for the missionaries to work and mm. to open roads uh, for the church, you know, in, yeah. in the whole area. Mm. So, um, as a missionary, you know, as a SMA missionary, I'd like to ask, you know, what is your dream? Eh? What what do you dream, you know, with the, with the school, with the whole church, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the whole community, you know, for, for this place, you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that uh, uh, Sastown is a nice mission, you know, and uh, I always, uh, uh, I'm always happy to be there to serve the people, you know, to be at the service of people, and uh, you know, as you said, the the Catholic history. Catholic faith started from Southampton, and uh, the bishop, Bishop Carly, has made it known to the people. And what to at least uh, remember the the whole story of the beginning of the Catholic faith in Liberia. He decided every year we have uh, the pilgrim, the, the whole diocese of Kipalmas had chosen the site in Southampton. Sasma has become the site for the pilgrim. Mm -hmm. So we do have every year the diocesan pilgrim in Sasma. And this pilgrim, we have to visit the tomb of the first missionary that died. Mm -hmm. And the people go there, they visit the first, the, the, the graves, and they pray around the graves. You know, it has become something now, uh, this is the third year that we have been doing the pilgrim in Sasma. It has become something great for Sastan. And I think Sastan is will be in the future a great city. Mm -hmm. I have that hope. I still have that hope because uh, today we look at Sastan like uh, a rural place. But in the future there is hope in Sastan. Yeah. There is hope in Sastan. Because right now uh, people start moving, coming back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The people that left because of the war, Ebola, some of them start coming back to Sastan because they have seen that now at least there is a road to reach to Sastan. And right now they, they, have, they have a lot of plans. And with this pilgrimage that the bishop organized, is bringing more people to Sastan. So there is hope uh, in Sastan for the future. And for the church, mm -hmm. at least. The church is doing well. And um, for me, I think uh, there is a need for the mission to continue in Sastan. It's very, very important mm -hmm. because Sastan will become something great in future. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate all your work uh, in Sastan. Thank you. Um, I know the place. I agree with you. No, I think it's a it's a place that of, of a lot, uh, has a lot of potential. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the, the bright future is ahead of Sastam. Mm -hmm. And also, it's the place that SMA should treasure, no? Because mm -hmm. from there, we, we expand and we, we make the church to grow in the whole Liberia. No? Oh, yes. So, yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you Maurice, very much, and, and, uh, and in one word, I would, like, and, I would like to thank you too. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to share a bit about uh, my mission in Sastan. And uh, I would like to also to thank the SMEs that always uh, support us in one way or other. 
mm -hmm. so that because of our presence there, they always support us. And even though it's a challenging mission, uh, we always get you know strength from the the conference that can call us to say okay, courage and give us you know courage and strength. So I would like to thank every one of you and especially you that you have been my senior in that area. <laughs> so. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's my first time to meet you too. Because I went, I went to, when I went to Southampton, people were telling Father Gustavo, Father God. I said, I've never met. And it's a pleasure that today I'm sitting around you at least to discuss about Southampton. That's very Thank you. Thank you.